Yo, what is the die? This is I, Professor Legend, back here with another Drew Ragnable Legend video for all of you. And today, we are going to take a look at the, the units that are revealed in the 13th video and stuff. As always, we're all hyped about this, especially with the new Goku that was released, the Ultra Rarity Goku. So now, we have, have like, more specifics on the info. So, the info has been more specific now. So yeah, um, we have like figures for them. All right, so let's start with Hit. It says Hit is coming. His own damage and next special move damage dealt increased by 100% at battle start, plus reduced damage taken and reduced cost of his next strike blast up after evading an attack with Vanishing Step. His one hit KO and combo ability shouldn't be missed. So yeah, let's take a roll at the clip. This will teach you. Nothing you think will hurt me. You ready? I'll destroy you. Check this out. I'll end this quickly. Let's finish this. Don't think so. <laughs> Too easy. My time skip is unbeatable. All right. All right. So that was hit. So let's take a look at the clip. So obviously that's a cover counter against strike. I'm assuming. I'm assuming that's his strike. His counter is getting strike. That's his special move. Obviously, with cover changes, you can always follow up with a special move. That's his green card, and then that's his his ultimate. Now then, let's take a look at the the new Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Obviously, he's a revival defensive kind of unit. He has a revival mechanic. So yeah, um, this guy basically counts as one and a half units, as we all know, so without further ado, let's roll the clip for the new Goku. So, so yeah, so yeah, that was the revival Goku. So he starts off with his green card, which is AOE, and it's kind of long, nearly as long as Ultra Instinct Goku. So if you do miss it, you are pretty much wide open for an, to get attacked. So his green card is kind of like UI Goku's, Mighty Vegeta's, the yellow Transformers, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan's. If you want to come into anything. So yeah, and then this is his revival mechanic where he just sends sends energy out, then goes back into him, goes back into him, and he res and he revives with half his health. His fire power increases after dodging with vengeance step, and when the enemy's attack ends, and his drill basically increases after revival. He also has a has long range special arts. There's a special move where he just attacks the enemy, then just punches them. So yeah, and now for the main man himself, the Ultra Super Saiyan Goku. Now, let's let us roll the clip. Yeah! 
All right, and that was the Ultra Super Saiyan Goku. So yeah, um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for the new characters that come to the game. Now let's take a look at the what types they're going to be in. So let's start with powerful opponents. Now, um, as always, he's going to have. Rival Universe and Powerful Opponent and Universe 6. We didn't have Universe 6, Powerful Opponent and Rival Universe. Let's take a look at the Powerful Opponent tag. So yeah, um... Cell, still very good, counts as two units. So, I don't think anyone will be replacing him anytime soon. Transforming Goku Black, still very good. Good Dim King Piccolo, very very good as well. And obviously El Kibu, El Broly, they're still very good. El Broly has blast armor on every four charge and move. El Kibu can pretty much just nearly restore his vanishing gauge by using the green card. So yeah. And then we have the the yellow regular Super Saiyan Broly. So yeah, um, pretty much, um, so pretty much, um, yeah, um, I think him, I think the new hit might be yellow, but then again, Broly is not to be underestimated because of his Z ability. He's a good health buffer for a powerful opponent. Let's take a look at Rival Universe. So obviously, we don't really have good purple. So if it is purple, he might satisfy the Rival Universe Z ability tag. So yeah. After we have Jiren, so we have Pride Troopers, we have Champa, Vados. So yeah, if we do have a good purple unit for the Rival Universe tag, I think it would fulfill that role as a purple unit for Rival Universe. But mainly because, mainly because we don't really have the purple Rival Universe buffer. So I think it could fulfill that role. Let's take a look at God Key for Goku. Obviously God Key hasn't gone really good red for a long time. Long time. UI Goku's still really good. Super Saiyan Goku Jiu with Zenkai's still really good. Champ is really good. The Super Simply Goku with the, with the Zenkai still really good, still very, very good. There's still a very solid option for for God Key with the Zenkai, very, very tanky. Vados, quite good as well. We also have, we also have Gogeta Blue, we also have the Blue Fusions who are still very good. We also have Supreme Buffers on their ultimates. Now, the only thing God Key's missing is a good red. So if this new Goku is red, then that's pretty much that's pretty much God Key. That's pretty much God Key set. That's pretty much God Key type set for battle. So yeah, um If he is red, then everyone's pretty much gonna be satisfied. Everyone's pretty much gonna be satisfied and and God Key's pretty much gonna be set for battle. So yeah, um Now, let's talk about the banner. Now, Legends All Star. Now, since they've been, if they are being implemented in the update, they, especially with the Ultra Goku, this could be the reason why the maintenance is lasting for 10 hours. Maybe because the maintenance Goku, he has a lot of animations. As Doji said, it takes around 3 4 months to make just one unit, one regular unit, like minimum. And, and to the Ultra units, they could take around half a year minimum and could take up to a year for them to be released. So yeah, um... So yeah, um... Let's take a look. So obviously, since the banner might be coming tomorrow, I mean in the update, during the maintenance ends, there's a good chance that they're going to be in another Legend All-Star banner, probably in the weekly reset, that's what's most likely going to be. So yeah, um. 
So yeah, um, if since they're both coming into a banner, it's most likely going to be an all-star banner, and most all-star banners would have two units only. And since they're just since Goku and Hit are two units, are two units that are summonable that come to the game, excluding the Ultra Rarity Goku, which is free. Free. He's basically they're, they're basically gonna be on the North Star banner. Now for the Ultra Rarity Goku, Toshi did say that he that he's on the Saiyan tag. So obviously this tag is constantly gonna get updated. So basically for every Saiyan battle member in the party, the Ultra Goku is gonna get buffs from it. So yeah, um So yeah um He's going to get buffs from the ultra from from his ultra ability. Plus, his ultra ability boosts Saints as well. So yeah. So yeah. Um, that's pretty much that's pretty much that covered. Um. So yeah, ultra Goku is going to be red. Ultra Goku is going to be red, and and pretty much. Pretty much, um, the size is getting updated, so he's red. Still a very solid option for Saiyans. And and they and Toji did say in that in order to get him, you must use this Goku right here. You must use this Goku right here in order to get him. So yeah, the event for to get the Ultra Goku is kind of like a Prime Battle event, where you need a specific unit to take on the event. We need like some sort of free to play character in order to take on the event. So yeah, um So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more content as well from I Professor Legend. And that being said, I'll see you all fellow players next time. Have a great day. Game on. This is Professor Legends. Over and out.